How's it going everybody? My name is Twiggy Scold and welcome back to a game called Cra Craven Manor. Craven Manor? I don't know. But this is an old game. Uh, but we're gonna get into this and it just seems pretty cool. Scares to go around. Okay, basic game, explore the manor with a standard flashlight. I'm guessing Nightmare, you don't. Uh, let's just go regular mode for now. Okay. If you get stuck, press J to open the journal and view your current objective. Good to know. We're already breathing heavy. Oh. Okay, press, okay, yeah, yeah. Standard rules for games. Okay. Hmm. A heavy bronze ornament engraved with the letters KM. Is that a... a model of the house? Initially, I la lamented that the rituals of October were failures. However, months later, I turned my back to a statue I thought hollow and dead, and the spirit within made itself known. I'm wondering if we are going to figure out what that spirit is. It's over here. Another one. Memo. A threatening sounding memo from William Craven addressed to a contractor. Subject structures must be built exactly to specifications. Exactly. No corners cut here. That is a weird looking statue. Mm, yes. Eerie bronze statue stands atop the pedestal. Okay. We are going to go down here and follow this weird flashy orb telling us to go this way. Can't be anything wrong with that. Nothing's going to... Nothing bad can happen, I don't think. Flashy orbs never lied. Newspaper clipping. A newspaper clipping describing a missing teenager named Marjorie Hedgepeth. Good. The heat does not reach far into this cold room. It is less than comforting. This house is supposed to be abandoned, yet something started the fire. It's a statue! Definitely the statue. Okay, so there was stuff blocking the stairs over there. Uh, let's do a walkie walk this way. For whoever do not, in the truth, boasting of phantasms, break that they can do miracles. Be destined to a torment of eternal fire. There's a little bit of random gibberish. Rejecting the music of the spheres, its movement of astronomical bodies are incapable of generating sound. What do we have this way? Press E or left mouse button to drop and manipulate certain objects when the hand icon appears. Ah, wine cellar model. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, I'm guessing we need this because we have to bring it with us if we gotta pick it up. And I'm guessing. I'm guessing we gotta bring it back to. Ah, I tripped. I didn't mean to break your model. Creepy. Let's click and drag to move. Rotate the room while dragging. Where's my um? Yeah, I don't know where this goes. Is this oh, it tells us where it goes. There we go. 
I heard something there. Can I, can I have the key? Okay, exit. We open the door, it sounds like. And the creepy thing is telling us to go up now. And the statue is gone! That is definitely, definitely the best sign ever. Okay. Do I? I do have a flashlight. Notice to all Craven Metalwork employees, these and lay layabouts should be disciplined by Lord Craven and shall receive no wages during recuperation. Lord Craven. You shall not deceive Lord. Oh. What do I need this for? Book. Within these construction expense reports are references to hidden passageways and moving walls. Interesting! Blueprints. The blueprint design is attributed to William Craven. The architecture reflects both sculptures and details and extremely strange structural components. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I'm guessing photograph is labeled 1857. Craven Metalworks and debris uh, and depicts a grim, well-dressed man in his 40s at the grand opening of a factory. It's probably Mr. Craven. Let's judge deeper. I'm gonna ignore you. Upon close inspection, something seems to have torn into this painting with dozens of thin, fine scratches. Definitely the statue, I'm telling you. Oh, what was that? That was definitely the statue. Ugh, ugh, spider webs. Okay, if anything, horror games have told me. Yeah. Can't throw it. Get out. Okay, I'm just I'm just getting out of the storm. It's got to be a hidden way somewhere. Hmm. What? I can't get back that way? I don't know what is attacking me. I think I'm dead. No. Oh. A lever. Another model room. Okay. Okay, can we get back? Okay, 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 statue, just go back to where you belong, I'm just gonna, just gonna build this model, and everything will be okay, you can, you can go back to being a statue, you can enjoy your fire, okay, I don't even know what, bedroom, where is the bedroom, is the bedroom, no? And another room opens. Okay. So, where is the creepy orb telling us to go now? Wait, weren't we just in here? This is where we got the cell. Um. Nope. Don't want to. Okay. Okay, I have to. Okay, yeah, you stay in there. I'll do my thing over here. You just relax, alright? Alright. 
we can both enjoy our time here. Of course, you're gone now. It's a little guy. That's something. Okay, label George Craven 40802. The uh, black and white photo depicts a male body on his knees, leaning, no, leaning over with his head, submerged in a vat of molten bronze. That is a horrible way to go. Look at all these statues. Nice. Its wire glow feels almost like it has a slight electric charge. Quite possibly. News article describing the visible decrease of homeless and indigent in doubtful past West Virginia. A police chief takes credit for cleaning up the town. Maybe the statue is killing them all. The father's beatings were wore me raw. I hated mother's care, uh, ceaseless lying most. Uh, seeing them die was an epiphany. There is beauty and death I've never forgotten. So, uh, of all... Oh, of all these homeless people and stuff. Photographs. Look at this photograph. A pile of dark blue photos of six nude men and women decorated with streaks of red paint. They're dancing around a glass orb. Uh, the setting appears to be the top floor of a library. Oh. Okay, can we just... Oh my god. Do you have to? Okay, I didn't find anything. Is this unlocked now? Oh. Okay. Oh. Ooh. No. 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 No, no, stay. Okay. Oh, most of the Okay, if I'm not looking at you, you are coming to me. Okay, so let's. Okay, come here. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. You just stay right where you are, mister. No, 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 inside the book. I didn't get to read it. Leave me alone. Okay, you just chill. You sit there and you chill. So what am I supposed to do? Inside this book, there are many diagrams of sketches of human teeth. Like my flashlight back, thank you. 
Okay, so it's good to know the nature of limbo has revealed itself to me. It is uh, receptacle in a state of existence, uh, wherein the spirit can be contained. My earliest success where belief, uh, were belief, but invigorating after ritual melf oh my god Melficarum of large orbs held the spirit for seconds at a time and glowed visibly. A carefully detailed illustration of a human arm being dipped in bronze with a set of pincers. The labeling appears labeling appears uh, instructional. It's if it were torn out of a manual. That is creepy. Let's take this bad boy and we're gonna go put it over back in here. There's something going on. A chip piece of bronze. Okay, I just have that. Alright, there we go. We got three pieces. So it looks like from what I gather so far is um, this guy was creep. Maybe he's killing all these homeless people. And the town thinks it's just getting cleaned up. It seems like some people are dipped in bronze. So we'll figure out what's uh, going to happen. I'm going to leave this video here and uh, we'll carry it off next time. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, let me know if you guys have played this before. It's pretty cool. It's uh, got some pretty good uh, horror elements to it so far. And I can't wait to see what it has to come. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. I will see you guys in the next video.